Hello, boys, girls, and guardians. It's me, Miss Cho, and I'm here to read you a story. Today's story is titled, My Daddy and Me. The author, a Newberry medalist, is Jerry Spinelli, and this book has been illustrated by Seymour Quast. Let's get it going. I can't wait for my daddy to come home from work. There are so many things to do. I sit at the window, and when I see him, I run outside. He swings me onto his shoulders. Hey, he calls to Mrs. Jones. Who's this cowpoke riding me? I run to the car. I want to drive, I say. Okay, driver, says Dad. Let's go to Kalamazoo. I toot the horn and I turn the wheel, and that's just what I do. Right there in the driveway, I drive us Kalamazoo. Do you get to pretend drive with your dad? Sometimes I don't run to greet him at all. I hide behind the sofa, or in a closet, or in the hamper. But no matter where I hide, he always finds me. How does daddy do that? Do you play hide and seek with your dad? I say to my daddy, what did you bring me? Sometimes he pulls out an apple or a toy. And sometimes he says, I brought you me. Daddy and I wrestle on the living room rug. I pin him, and he says, You're too strong for me. Daddies are so much fun. Cookie time, Daddy calls. We make a mess in the kitchen. We might make chocolate chip or peanut butter, but my favorites are gingerbread men. We plant tomatoes in the garden. Daddy lets me dig the holes. I'm good at that. I'm good at eating, too. I didn't know that dads could garden. How cool is that? When the house breaks, we have to fix it. My job is to carry the toolbox and hand Daddy the hammer. He says I'm his best helper. Do you like helping your dad? Daddy gives me a haircut in the bathroom. He tickles me. Then I say, okay, my turn to be the barber, but daddy runs away. <laughs> my daddy should be a clown. When he puts on his funny face, it's like having my very own circus. He walks like a penguin and talks like a duck. I pull on his nose and tickle his toes, and he does the same to me. Oh, what fun they're having. I'm boy of the day. Daddy says we can go anywhere we want. Funny thing, even though I can go anywhere I want, the only place I really, really want to be is right here in Daddy's lap. Daddy is teaching me to stand on my head. Pretty soon, I'll be able to do it myself. He's having a story time with his dad, and he's getting to stand on his head while Dad watches close by. Oh, looks like a party. When we go for a walk, we don't just walk, we do fancy dance steps, <sighs> like a dance party on the sidewalk. <laughs> you think my dad had 20 kids. Everybody's joining in. How fun is that? We play magic. I shake his hand and his arm falls off. I turn around and he's gone. Then poof, he's back again. 
Neighbors come to listen when Daddy plays the harmonica and I play the drum. Wow, they're a dad and son band. Awesome. Work makes Daddy tired. Sometimes he's too tired to play tag with me or stand up straight, but never ever is my daddy too tired to sing me a lullaby when it's time for bed. I bet his dad is singing, good night, sleepy head. Dads are so much fun. Is your dad as fun as this dad? I sure hope so. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. Thank you for joining me.